didn't tell Dr. Thomas that I killed AJ. You told me not to. That's good. It's good that you remembered. Is it because that I'd get in trouble with the police? Mm, small part of it. What would happen to me? Do they have a prison for kids? No, buddy. You would, you're not going to prison, I promise. Will they take me away someplace where I'll never get to see you, Mom and Dad again? No, Michael. Nothing bad is going to happen to you. Michael's family would be appalled to know that you've been taping his sessions. Tapes are merely a diagnostic tool. I review them for insight into my patient's thoughts, uh, telling phrase, <clears throat> a shift of tone. The rest of the tapes, please. <sighs> sessions today. Thank you. Although I didn't need them to put the pieces together. Michael's feelings of guilt and shame make it clear that he's harboring some enormous secret. And then, of course, there were your rather pointed questions regarding my position on doctor-patient confidentiality. So I have no idea what Michael is telling you. I want him to be safe. Look, I assured you then, and I'll tell you now, I have absolutely no intention of sharing my patient's revelations with the police. Even if, if Michael were to reveal that he was A.J.'s murderer. Well, I can't imagine him doing that. Look, Michael's time with me has been very productive, Sam. We were on the verge of a breakthrough when Jason so abruptly terminated our Jason session. Jason is trying to protect And Michael. in the process, maybe hurting him more. You know, maybe Michael should take a break for a while. You'd be doing Michael an enormous favor. If you'd explain to Jason that Michael needs to be in therapy for his own emotional survival. By, by encouraging him to, to cover up the truth, Jason could be doing the boy irreparable harm. I'll have to think about it. Sam, I honestly believe that I can save Michael. But I need your help to do it. I saw what you did to the picture. Are you mad? You know, I hate it when I lose control when I break things because it makes me feel like I'm breaking inside. Is that kind of how you felt last night? Pretty much. Okay, you know what? I just There's something I want you to remember whenever you get angry, sad, okay? always love you. I don't care how you feel, what's going on, okay? Because nothing could ever stop me from loving you for one second. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, but what if I can't make the bad feelings go away? No, oh, you know what? I swear to you, they will go away. All right? No matter how strong the feelings are, they never win. And in the end, Everything's gonna be okay. Truth is, you're Michael's best advocate. His parents are distracted by personal matters, and Jason's own experience with therapy was, well, less than successful. You know, um, we all just want what's best for Michael. I treated Jason after his injury. His cognitive limitations must make it incredibly difficult for him to empathize with Michael's pain. Jason is very sympathetic to Michael. Jason confides in you, doesn't he? <sighs> yes, of course he does. He trusts me. Enough to overcome his own misgivings and let Michael continue therapy? Well, I think if I can convince Jason that therapy would be helpful for Michael, then yes, I do think that he would agree. So you'll speak with him. turning his fear and anger inward. Sonny, I mean, Michael had a terrible year. It's only natural that this can People be deal with traumas like in different ways. Jason, the way I deal with it is I, I self-destruct, I, I go crazy, I, I hit things. Yeah, and Michael, Michael hit a thing, not a person. That's supposed to make it okay? I, I tell myself that, you know, I'm doing the best I can 
as a father, and I'm supposed to be a role model, but my son is only doing what he sees me do. I said to myself that I would never let my children go through the hell that I'm going through, and now I'm watching my son go through it. So what do you want to do? I just don't want Michael to suffer any more than he has to. Maybe you should, you should go back to this ring. Well, I, I pulled him out of his session last night before he could tell Dr. Thomas how AJ died. So, Michael, you, you see, he does trust this doctor, right? Yeah, yeah, it seems that way. So maybe he, you know, he should let the truth out, and not just in front of his family, but in front of, you know, a professional who can sort things out. Okay, well, the reason you went to Dr. Thomas was that he says he keeps things confidential. What if he changes his mind? Well, then it'll have to be handled. But not until Michael's okay. Jason. Okay, I just came from Dr. Thomas's office. And he wants Michael to continue therapy. Um, Dr. Thomas is afraid that if Michael stops treatment, he might have an emotional breakdown. Dr. Thomas says that he would never violate doctor-patient confidentiality, so even if Michael does admit to killing AJ, Jason, it shouldn't be a problem. Hey. Hey, hey Sam, can I see you for a minute? Yeah. So, hey, how did, how did the session go? Pretty good. What, uh, what did you guys talk about? Dr. Thomas said I don't have to tell anyone about what we talked about. He's right. You know, as long as you feel that the sessions are helping you, it's all that matters. Thanks for bringing Michael back to therapy. Do you think he's made any progress at all? Absolutely. And it wouldn't have been possible if you hadn't intervened on his behalf. Dr. Thomas is a pretty cool guy. You like him? Yeah. I think maybe I can tell him about what happened the night AJ died. Okay. Well, you, get, you gotta do me a favor, okay? Just hold off on that for a little while. All right, you gotta pick up the pace. We can't be late for Dr. Thomas. Do we have time for a pretzel? Okay, only if you share with me, though. Okay. Please get lots of mustard. Lots of mustard? And some salt. Okay, I like it with that, too. <laughs> Jody? 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 What'll it take to keep you away from my daughter? I looked into Michael's doctor. You're not gonna like what I found. According to Dr. Winters, Dr. Thomas is a good shrink, but the man does have a God complex. He believes he can save every patient. Yeah, that's how he was with me. God loves to hear himself talk, always had all the answers. He's flawless in confidentiality, and most of his patients do get better. Yeah, he uh, seems to be helping Michael, but I don't trust him. Can you keep digging? Are you kidding me? I'll take any excuse I can find to spend with that Dr. Winters. Session? I guess. Right, come on, let's go. Are you okay? Yeah, it's just been a year since I've thought about my accident, but a memory came back. It's out of nowhere. 
I'm waking up. My head is bandaged. You know, Monica is, is there. She she leaves to call grandmother. And then another woman comes in, so she must have been a nurse. But she says Dr. Thomas wanted to see me, but something was, something was wrong. Well, do you have any idea what? I don't, I don't know. It was, it was in the room or it was in the hall. Oh, okay. Are you sure that these memories are about Dr. Thomas? <laughs> Please. Do you want to talk about what happened? I mean, it's okay if you don't want to. I have this friend, Jody. Her mom hates me. When did you meet Jody's mom? In the park a couple of hours ago. She said Dad's a gangster, and I can't be Jody's friend because something might ha something might happen to her. Yeah, it's, it's safe now. Would you like Jody to come over? Her dad won't let her. She lives with him right down the street. And it's the house where it looks like all the boxes are stacked up. Yeah, yeah, I know which one you mean. Her parents are divorced too. Uh, would you like me to speak with her father? Don't beat him up, okay? Michael, I'm, I'm gonna tell him that you're a good kid, that you'd be a good friend to his daughter, and that she is safe anytime she wants to come to this house. Thanks. But I don't want you to lose a friend because of me or Sonny. Okay, please. Please tell me again, it's normal for a kid to run out of a session. Uh, it happens, even with kids like Michael who try to act like grown-ups. So do you think he's getting any better? It's hard to say, given the secret he's keeping. Did you talk to her dad? Can you come over? Um, I have some bad news. When I got to Jody's house, I saw a moving van pulling out of the driveway. I must be getting new furniture. Well, I knocked on the door and nobody answered, Michael. Did you pound on the door really hard? Look through the window? Yeah, I pounded on the door, I rang the doorbell, I looked through all the windows. I'm, I'm sorry, Michael. I mean, they, you know, they must have moved out because Jody's house is empty. What are those? Uh, brain scans. Of Michael? Uh, no, actually, Jason, right after the accident. Why do you have brain scans of Jason? Well, I'm comparing the two cases. Well, they're nothing alike. Well, perhaps not to the layman, but to me. Uh, Michael's closed off because of emotional trauma. Uh, at some level, he's made a decision not to feel anything. Jason, on the other hand, is dealing with physical trauma. The accident destroyed part of his brain. He has no choice about feeling his emotions. He simply doesn't have any. Really? You couldn't be more wrong. I'm just stating a medical fact. Yeah, well, you're wrong. I believe you mentioned that. You probably don't hear that much, do you? More than you think, but I can't argue with the evidence. Jason loves Michael. He has from the, from the first day of that kid's life, probably even before, and he loves me too. I don't care if it shows up on some x-ray or not. Does Jason tell you he loves you? That is none of your business. He doesn't have to. He shows it to me every single day of his life. And so what if he doesn't show his emotions like the rest of us do? It doesn't mean he doesn't have any. Look, I, I, I'm sure that I can help Michael find his feelings again. And as far as Jason goes, well, perhaps no one understands the human heart. Deep feelings arise when we least expect them. My... Yeah, I was oh. just about to run after you. Thank you. Sonny's not here, is he? Uh, where is he? 
don't even know why I'm asking that question, because we both know where he is. Carly, you need to get things in perspective. You married... What's his name? Sonny's with Reese. It's time to accept it and just move on. Okay. Sonny has always been a concerned and involved father, no matter what was going on in his life, until now. Now he's so besotted with Reese. Why didn't you just call him and tell him you're bringing Morgan over? Where the hell is he, Jason, when his kids need him most? Shacked up with some skank who lies to his face every day about who she is and what she's doing here? What happened to Sonny's instincts? I mean, it... Has he just lost them, or is Ree so good and bad Dude, that he do we doesn't even have even to want go to listen there, to them Do we? Admit it, Jason. You know that Sonny is being stupid for trusting. Reese. Okay, I already told you I don't trust Reese. All right, but it doesn't matter what I think. Sonny's gonna do what he wants, whether you or I agree, Carly. So it's time to mind your own business. Let me mind my own business. I got better things to do than than trying to stop you from ruining your life again. You know what? I'm not gonna leave Morgan here. I'm going to take him with me, and when Sonny is ready to see his son, then he can damn well come see us. You have a minute? Uh, it depends. What have I done wrong now? Nothing that I know of. I just need some information. All right. As long as it doesn't concern Michael's, uh, therapy. No, no, it's about me. You were one of my doctors after the accident. I just want to know what happened to me. Well, when I was brought in to consult on your case, uh, you'd already been unconscious for days. Uh, very little was known about your condition at that point. Uh, you were completely unresponsive, uh, completely unaware of anything that was going on around you. Dr. Thomas. No. No, no, not here. Not here. Oh, don't worry about him. The guy's a vegetable, so I can't hear to see a thing we do. You wouldn't even remember me being around. <laughs> 